Hello and welcome back to our KSP career and in today's episode I've noticed a certain you know omission. We have a lot of contracts to do scan set, uh, namely on Duna, Ike and whatnot, so I decided to design a satellite that would be able to do a lot of you know high res combined experiments on their you know not surface but in their orbit. So the science, uh, let's, we're now first assembling, you know, the communication score and the rest of the satellite and we will be putting the experiments last. I want to just make sure that I have put everything what I need to be able to successfully insert the craft into the correct orbit, antenna relays, whatnot, actually, uh, hold on, uh, yeah, Kerbal Engineer. Now we have high resolution imager, that's gonna be one of the experiments. Then we have um, resource mapper. Uh, those are all going to 250 kilometer orbit. I'm trying to look all of those that can do high res something. This antenna is one actually. And this is the resource mapper, resources high res. So I need th these three experiments to finish up the contract. Okay, so. I'll be pla placing you here, you will be on this side, and this is actually the satellite that can do a lot. So that's our high-res combined satellite. What's the delta V? 753 meters per second, that's good. Scan set high-res scanner combo mark one, because it can scan anything in from the 250 kilometer orbit roughly. Visual high-res, resources high-res, and altimetry high-res. It's enough to finish up that contract that we have. And I think we have even for, I think it's for Duna and Ike, or maybe Eve, I'm not sure. It says put in 200 kilometers orbit. All right, there we go. Looks good, doesn't it? Let's now put it into a sub-assembly. High-res combo, altimetry high-res, visual high-res, and resources high-res, good. Max 200 kilometer orbit and probably in polar orbit would be the smartest. So the, the purpose of this is to fulfill this contract. Uh, connect, connect a high resolution research scan set res surveys of, you see, we have Duna and Ike. So the idea is that they will perform this, but then again, you know, antenna wise, I actually need antenna that has a little bit more kick. So I'm going to be placing this antenna on a hinge and look at this. Once we launch it, it will just open up and it will look fantastic. Good. Time to do the decoupler and time to launch the crop that will be launching it. However, as you can see, I'm a little bit strapped for cash, meaning I don't have a lot of money on my hands. So I'm going to try and design this cheap but it still needs to go to, you know, Duna, Ike or Eve. So, reaction wheels, as you can see, I'm going with 1.25 meter. Let's see, this guy and this guy. Thrust, 1664 meters per second. That looks good enough in my book, honestly. Let's put in some solar panels. Actually, I'll need these ones because, well, we're going through the atmosphere. I don't actually think that matters for Kerbin because we are just accelerating through the thick of it, but regardless. Actually, I'm going to be putting like this bigger tank. It has a lot more oomph. Good. That puts us to 62,000. All right, come on. I just want to make sure that I have enough to build two of these babies, hopefully. Or at least one. Okay, that's 200, 2,600 meters per second. I'm actually thinking of, uh, this is Mothra. Let's put in the, these fellas. Come on, where are you? Nope, nope, nope. I was trying to find a nice launch pad, but... Aha, Tundra Exploration. There is no Mothra launcher? Just Bagora and Ghidorah. Oh, that sucks. Well, let's put these guys. 
I'm gonna be placing here as well. Let's put in the these fellas. Okay, four hammers. That will actually be helping with the launch. It will provide initial kick and it will it is cheap enough. That's good enough, I would say. Let's play some bigger photovoltaic panels if I can muster. No, those are too big. I think I'm gonna leave those as it was. Shall I put like... Oh, this looks like too big almost. I don't know. Tell you what, I'm gonna put it like this. Photovoltaic panels, extend, extend. And let's start the simulation, shall we? Kicking it off. Looks decent in the morning. We'll turn this guy maneuver prograde. And soon enough we will be ditching the boosters. They are really <laughs> kinking things into high gear. So good, good, good. Hit it. Kaboom. And then we have a total of 5,000 meters per second delta V and climbing, which is amazing. All right, there we go. I just want to see how much delta V we have once we are circularized. Probably should be good enough. Can be maybe a, we're, we might be a little bit on the tighter budget, but we are on the tighter budget financially, so, you know. Alright, apoapsis is zeroing on 100 and there we go, let it coast up to the apoapsis after which we shall be circularizing. Good. We will be almost, let's see, there we go, 795 meters per second. Let's pop the fairing open first. Deploy. Huh, interestingly enough. All right, let's open up the solar panels. There we go. These are popular these days, I hear. Antenna, hinge, see, works perfectly. Another set of solar panels. I'm just performing the tests as always. Let's now perform the orbital insertion burn. We'll just, just need a minor correction on our transfer stage. That should hopefully be okay. There we go. And enough, good. That leaves us 3,294 meters per second to get us into the correct orbit. I think that's good enough, honestly, guys. Well, and it looks beautiful, so let me know what you think in the comments below. This is gonna be a shorter episode, so as always, like if you like the episode, hit subscribe, and I shall be seeing you in the next episode, where we'll do who knows what. Smash that like button, and thanks for watching.